Hello, I'm Andre, the founder at Zebra BI, and I'll present the latest release of the Zebra BI visuals for Power BI version 5.2. This is a major new release. We have shipped a new version of the Zebra BI tables visual that now allows you uh, to compare your actuals to several versions of your plan and several versions of your forecast, all within the same visual. So now you can track your performance versus an annual plan and an outlook, or versus several versions of your forecast within the same visual, together with automatically calculated variances and other features that Zebra BI tables contain. Next, we have made most of the Zebra BI uh, settings in both visuals bookmarkable. All right, so now you can set up bookmarks to personalize your reports and Power BI dashboards or to make them more accessible or to make them more flexible. Uh, number three, we are delivering a new chart type. This time it is a stacked bar chart within the Zebra BI charts visual. It has some really cool features, so um, stay with me as I present all of the new features um, in a couple of practical examples. In our first example, let's explore how you can track your performance versus several versions of a plan and several versions of your forecast. We are making this childishly easy with the Zebra BI tables version 5.2. All right, so, in this example, I have my actuals compared to my plan. All right, Zebra has calculated the variance to plan and the relative variance to plan as uh, it is doing, has been doing in our previous version. Um, of course, I can add a forecast into the forecast placeholder. I get uh, the uh, variance to forecast and relative variance to forecast. So this is what we had before. What is new now is that you can add multiple measures into the plan placeholder and forecast placeholder. All right, so let's imagine a scenario where you have multiple versions of your plan. So I had my plan num uh, forecast number one and now this is my forecast number two. Um, as you can see, Zebra BI is simply adding more calculations here. So I have the uh, absolute variance to my second forecast here and the relative variance to my second forecast. And you can simply add up to three measures into the forecast placeholder. All right, now I have my three forecasts. And of course, this is now completely flexible. Uh, you can change the order of any column here, you can visualize your uh, forecasts. Let's try this with different types of, of charts, of course. And as you can see now, because you have three versions of the forecast, uh, Zebra BI will actually distinguish between them visually um, by uh, uh, variating slightly the uh, pattern for the forecast, all right. Um, the same thing is achievable with multiple versions of your plan. So for example, if this is your annual plan now, you can add another plan. Let's do this, this time into the plan placeholder. Again, up to three versions of your plan, up to three measures are allowed in the latest version of the Zebra BI tables. And this is how you can now display several uh, versions of your plan together with automatically calculated variances and all the other features that are available in the Zebra BI tables will work. So this will work with the Zebra BI formula editor. You can now create um, big cross tabs, uh, cross tables and other um, features and functionality will work, including the uh, changing of the layouts and everything else that you find in the Zebra BI tables visual. So uh, I hope that this will help you track your performance versus different business scenarios and so on. This was one of the most requested features by our users. So hopefully this will make your reports even more actionable.
In our next example, we'll take a look at how you can take advantage of bookmarks together with the latest release of the Zebra BI visuals. Now, both the Zebra BI tables and the Zebra BI charts visual are now supporting bookmarks for most of the settings in the visual, including the title, the column names, the colors, the layouts, and so on. So most of the settings will be saved together with your bookmarks. So let's take a look at this example of a Zebra BI tables visual. I have already added a couple of bookmarks here and uh, let's see what you can actually save under a bookmark. Okay, um, all right, so this is my original report. Okay, first of all, the title. Uh, you can change the title, save it as a bookmark and then link uh, this bookmark to a button in your report. So when the user clicks on this button, the new title will show up. Okay, so the titles, then the column names. All right, so now I have certain column names here, the default column names. Uh, you can rename them, save them as a bookmark. User will click and he will see a different title uh, of the column. All right, then the layouts. Okay, you can have a button that will completely change the layout of your table in your report. So you can have like uh, only actual columns and uh, you can have maybe only variances or you, or you can have a switch where the user will click and just see it as a classic table with all the columns um, and just numbers. Uh, you can uh, change the style. So expose the style in different colors. So I have a, you know, custom colors or, um, you know, have a button uh, for the accessibility for the users who have color deficiencies. They will click this and they will see the colors that will help them um, um, see the report much, much, much better um, and so on. So the styles, the layouts, the settings, even uh, settings like, for example, the tooltip uh, can be now uh, customized and saved as a bookmark. Okay, so this was an example with the uh, Zebra BI tables visual. You can do the same with the Zebra BI charts visual version 5.2. Um, again, you can have, for example, a very simple report to start with. So, you know, a button, keep it simple, will bring up the layout uh, with a relatively simple chart, right? And then, uh, you know, for maybe more advanced users, you know, they can click and they will get a different layout within the same Zebra BI chart visual, right? So this now is just a change of one setting of the chart. This is exactly the same visual, it's just one visual and you're using the bookmarks to change settings and expose this to the end user. All right, so this is a um, waterfall chart now with the comment box and so on. So you see the comment box, you can just turn it on and off with the bookmarks. Um, you can flip the axis of the chart with the help of a bookmark, all right? Um, change the chart type to area charts and so on. Add column totals at the end with the bookmarks, with a button. Um, and again, make it, make it more accessible for people with color deficiencies. And of course, there are lots of ideas, quite wild, wild ideas, uh, what you can do with bookmarks. So get creative, make sure that the bookmarks um, I will use, you will use the bookmarks uh, to personalize your reports and dashboards, to make them more accessible and to expose certain features, enhance your storytelling scenarios within your dashboards and so on. Uh, maybe to close this example, um, we can take a look at another idea um, with the combination now of the bookmarks and of the ability of the new Zebra BI tables visual to display several versions of plans and forecasts, you can create something like this. You can actually um, 
give the users a choice to see different combinations, different comparisons within the same visual. So for example, um, users can click to uh, explore the performance versus previous year. Okay, and this is maybe one layout, performance versus previous year with the variances, then maybe uh, just the variances versus previous year. But then with the next button, they can open up a report that also has a comparison to plan. All right, so uh, this is now childishly easy if you combine the bookmarks together with the uh, features of the Zero BI Tables visual that lets you add multiple versions of your plans and of your forecasts. Okay, so I hope this will help your reports, you know, become more actionable and more flexible. In my next example, I'll demonstrate a new chart type that we have added to the Zebra BI charts visual. This is the stacked bar chart. Okay, right now I have a stacked column chart, which I got by adding several business units to my x-axis here and, to sev and several regions to my y-axis. All right, so now, uh, the first action will be to flip the chart and display it with a vertical axis. All right, so this is the first feature, new, uh, new feature now. You can simply switch between the uh, horizontal and vertical chart, stacked chart. And now the stacked bar chart has all the other features that are also available in the uh, stacked column chart. So for example, uh, you have the automated top end plus others feature here. For example, I can just decrease the number of data series displayed um, and just compare North America versus the other regions against the total. You can click on a label uh, to show, to calculate and show the uh, normalized values, so the percentages. Now I understand that North America is 76% of the total within my baby care business unit. For example, uh, you can, of course, also uh, extend the others to include more data series. Now I understand that there's, there's also the Asia and Pacific region and so on. Uh, next, uh, the users, even in the view mode, can switch between the stacked bar chart and small multiples. How does it look? Click and the small multiple is presented. So now I have a separated bar chart for each data series for each region. region. So every user can simply flip between a stacked uh, chart and small multiples. Um, okay, now the other features that are supported in the Zero BI stack charts also work here with the stacked bar chart. Namely, uh, for example, let's add a plan. Okay, they even support comparisons to, uh, you know, plan forecast and previous year. So in my example here, I have a stacked bar chart and behind it in this overlap chart, um, I see a very light version of, of my plan, but when the user will show this as small multiples, they will see more details, they will see each of the regions, each of the data series compared to the plan. Okay, so um, I hope that the new chart type will just enable you, uh, give you more options uh, when you design your reports and dashboards in Power BI. At last, let's take a look at a slightly more advanced example, namely the new version of Zebra BI Charts Visual uh, allows you more control over the current period. Okay, so what is the problem? When you have a monthly uh, data series, for example, um, within the current period, let's say this is October right now, okay, uh, my actuals are coming in from day one, okay? And then I also may have a forecast uh, 
for this current period, for the end of the month, right? So you basically have month to date versus full month situation, okay? And this can be annoying because, uh, you know, the, the visuals typically would try to compare uh, the month to date, like two or three days of sales with the total month uh, plan or a total month forecast and so on, right? So that is why we are adding more options for you to control the behavior of charts for uh, the uh, current period. Okay, first of all, here this is my monthly chart. Uh, if you navigate under the uh, chart settings, right, these are my chart settings, um, and as you can see, the uh, show of all forecast data is on, right? So I'm showing all of my forecasts, including here on my current period. Okay, so my actual month to day data will probably grow um, towards, you know, the end of the month, but also from day one, starting from day one, the uh, variance of actual versus plan is also shown here. And of course it's very big because, you know, I'm only a couple of days into my month here. So, to mitigate for that, we are now deploying the option called um, uh, current period variance and you can simply choose either to always show those variances which is fine if you have monthly you know updates or uh, something like that but if you do have daily updates or even you know updates uh, a couple of times uh, within a day then you might want to explore the other two options. The first one being hide until closed, which, mean that, which means that the variance uh, will be displayed only once the month is closed. Um, so basically that's on the 1st of November, on the 1st of the next month, or even more interestingly, show the variance conditionally, all right? And the condition can be a day in a month, for example. So I can now say, all right, just start showing my uh, variances from the 10th within a month, all right? So right now we are 12th, so, uh, you know, uh, this is already showing, but if I would say, all right, just start showing my variance from uh, day 15 within a month, okay? Uh, Zebra BI will actually take a look at the calendar, uh, see what time is it, it is, uh, and match this against your condition, and uh, the variance will start showing up uh, only from day 15 within a month. And similarly, of course, you can control, um, you know, similar situations uh, like weekly, um, weekly charts, um, you can set the day and week and, and so on. So hopefully this will give, give you much more control uh, even in already quite advanced situations. Uh, make sure that your data is always perfectly displayed in your reports and dashboards. So with this release, Zebra BI is enabling you to track your performance versus several plans and several versions of your forecasts. Uh, it's enabling you to create bookmarks, to make your reports more accessible, more customizable and more flexible. Um, it's adding a new chart type, the stacked bar chart, uh, and has further options for your monthly reports, especially when you're using forecasts. And of course, there are other improvements and bug fixes and performance improvements, so make sure to take a look at our product update page, uh, import the latest version of the Ziba BI visuals from the AppSource marketplace and subscribe to our YouTube channel because the next version is coming soon. See you at the next product update. <music>